Missed us? Well, we are back with another episode of Local Legends Time Out Market Edition, where we'll be tackling some of the best-selling dishes from the exciting and market-exclusive Fulvios. And we'll be finishing on a supremely sweet note, stuffing our faces with the very best desserts from Bricks. If you're still not up to speed on what Time Out Market Dubai is, um, where have you been? What have you been doing? <laughs> Set in the supreme surrounds of downtown Dubai, the 17 inimitable vendors here represent the very best this city has to offer. Well, enough talking, more pasta. Let's go. Let's go. The vibe of Time Out Market is not easy to find uh, somewhere else in Dubai. You feel like to be more in uh, US or Europe. It's just amazing. It's uh, a new spot. Everyone should come and visit. Our best-selling dish, let's say all the pasta dish we have on the menu. Uh, if I have to pick one, uh, the risotto with uh, black truffle that we toss in the beautiful Parmesan wheat. My favorite dish on the menu, the tagliatelle with uh, beet sausage and uh, porcini mushroom. What should eating Fulvio feels like? Well, uh, first of all, freshness, as I said before, lightness. If you love Italian food, this is the market restaurant for you. This is a brand new concept from revered chef Fulvio. If you don't know, Chef Fulvio is the head chef for Orange Hospitality, which operates some time out heavy-hitting, award-winning restaurants like Il Boro Tuscan Bistro. It's ready. <laughs> and Alici, are you ready? Yeah, I think we are. We are. <laughs> <laughs> These look amazing, and we are going to attempt to take you through We apologise to the nation of Italy in yeah. advance. I'm sorry. For our attempts at the pronunciation <laughs> of your food. So this is one that you're going to be having, and it is Vitello Tornato. Thinly sliced roasted veal in a light tuna sauce with fried capers. This is the risotto in forma di parmigiano e tartufo, which is carnoli rice tossed in the parmesan wheel. Yep. The one at dinner the counter. and a show. Yes, dinner and a show. <laughs> and then you've got shavings of truffle on top. Shavings. So truffle, truffle, truffle. Okay, this, which is octopus. This is grilled octopus with an olive pesto, creamy potatoes and capsicum. And this is uh, the most popular dish on the menu and it's the tagliatelle al ragu di vitello e fungi. Gorgeous veal ragu, tomatoes, homemade tagliatelle and yum. And it's time to eat it. <laughs> I think as well, one thing that's worth noting is all the pasta, everything's freshly made. And, and if you're gluten intolerant, they have gluten-free versions of their pasta too. Time out market caters for everyone. So so this is the veal, right? Mm-hmm. Choose a light tuna sauce, and then you've got a some light fried tuna sauce. capers. Fried capers in there as well. I heard a medley. This is really light, and it's... <laughs> I feel like you're intrigued with every bite. You're mm. just like, whoa, what is yeah, this? Yeah, I'm taking on a bit of an adventure, and I like it. Ooh, Italian really escape. Through Italy. Excellent. And I think it's a nice portion that you could easily come with a group of friends and Absolutely. share. Absolutely. And again, that's I think one of Great the nicest sharing. things about the, the market is most of the dishes are very shareable, meaning you can have as many of the 17 restaurants <laughs> as you can. All hands in. Okay, I'm just going to get stuck into this. Crack on. Uh, I really want that. <laughs> What's going on, Rinch? What's going on inside that mouth of yours? Because I'm getting very envious. Well, it's really tender. It's not chewy at all. And there's a really nice charcoal taste. It's but... an absolute slab as well. Like, yeah, generous It definitely portion. looks like at one point in its, in its past life, it was <laughs> uh, swallowing Jack Sparrow as well as a giant pirate ship in Pirates of the Caribbean. This is the Parmesan risotto with truffle. Just gonna, like I said, this is the one that comes with a bit of a show because you can just see it being tossed in the big Parmesan wheel. The, the Parmesan wheel, my favourite type of wheel. Incidentally, I keep seeing I keep seeing people around the market with this, but I haven't tried it yet. I think it's because like it's made in the wheel, which you just get the wow factor as well. Truffle's a, a tricky flavour, right? Yeah, yeah. I definitely think truffle can be overwhelming, but this is just really well balanced. I feel like from the restaurants we've all been to so far, this is probably the most fine dining 
market experience. Yeah. I've tried yet. It's refined. It's incredibly it's refined. It's yeah. like, guys, multi, multi timeout award winning restaurants, chefs, kitchens behind these plates. The standard is, is up there. I want this. <laughs> I just want to hear your reaction to it because it is one of their best sellers. Go on, give the people what they want. Hype and warm. Where does, where does Tagliatelle rank for you in terms of pasta? Mm. I'm a fan. Is it to my top five? <laughs> top five! You can taste the authenticity coming through. Does it taste like a slow cooked ragu? When you think of Italian food, this is this is what comes to mind. We've essentially just been to Italy and back. For lunch? Yeah. Fantastic. Wonderful. Can't be beat. Stamps in the passport. But we uh we're not done yet, are we, Ribs? No, we need to leave some space because we will be having some of the Brix's most popular desserts and they They know. look absolutely unreal and yeah. uh, we've both got sweet teeth. Yeah. <laughs> sweet all tooths. Of, all of my teeth are sweet. <laughs> sweet mouths. Let's go. I'm just going to have one last bite of it. <laughs> So I think that you know, when you decide to come in to Brits and have a dessert, I think that the feeling that you can get is like a very comfortable flavor because we try to evoke some of the memories from the childhood. So you have from Karak to a cheesecake, uh, also chocolate, uh, caramelized bananas. So it's something very comfortable that can make you feel very, very nice and warm. I would like to say that probably at Brits you can find this kind of uh, dessert that they are made with uh, knowledge behind, where we really take care about uh, the techniques behind of each of the things that we are doing. From uh, macarons to ice creams, everything is really well thought and we really try to balance each ingredient to get the perfect experience. I think that my favorite dish on the menu are probably the bonbons. Because in each bonbon you have like a very powerful flavor inside. They are handmade uh, painting and graph them. So they are very unique, very visually beautiful, but when you bite it, you have inside of them a very, very surprisingly flavors. So when you are coming here, you are not trying just to take a normal dessert. You are eating something that really fills you on flavors and experiences in your mouth. It will come as no surprise that Bricks, from the exceedingly talented folks at Three Fills, does boss desserts. There is loads to love about this cool dessert bar, especially if you have a sweet tooth like me. Oh, we're it's in dessert business. Dessert time. <laughs> <laughs> whoop, whoop. Here to collect, please. Wow, 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 wow. My okay. days, like, look. At they are stunning. They're probably the prettiest desserts I've ever seen. <laughs> I feel like we're on a time crunch here because we've got lots of ice creams. Well, we are on time crunch rooms, but it's also one of those things where you don't want to touch anything because it all looks so ridiculously unbelievable. Like, I, what was this one again? This is the Ipsahan, which is like a milk cake with rose and raspberries. I just, I, I don't want to touch it. It's, <laughs> I think you just need to have a bite of that. I need to eat this though, right? This is this one is... of the most popular desserts here, and it's the macaroon sandwich cakes, and that's the coconut and raspberry one. And. <laughs> So elegant. Mm. <laughs> Young. <laughs> oh wow. The um, raspberry. So sharp. Yeah, so tangy. Like, right? so flavorful. Like, if you were half asleep when you ordered this, you'll certainly be awake when you've got it in your mouth. <laughs> Are you enjoying that? Mm. You need some of this now, don't you? I'm also like not going to hang around okay. because. Yeah, just dig in. <laughs> What, what have you got your eye on? I'm going for the African, African powerhouse. powerhouse. Massive fan. Ooh. I'm just going to finish this one off and be done with it. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's so smooth, Reams. It's absolutely ridiculous. I, it's, I think the best way to describe this is like danger dessert because you could sit here and Reams, if you're not careful, this is like going to disappear in okay. front of you before you I'm going to get a bite with like... the sea salt. Ooh, ice cream. It tastes like what cartoon food would taste like, you know, when something's so like aesthetically pleasing. Have a bite with the sea salt. <laughs> That's the kicker, is it? Well, it's kind of like a bit like mousse-like texture. It's that soft and creamy. Mm. It's just like velvet, chef. Thank you, chef. <laughs> mm. Here we go. This, this is, is the Karak tea cheesecake, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna. You go first this time. Dig in. So is this like crumbly base sort of like around it as well? <laughs> I've never heard Rima make that noise before. <laughs> I love tea. Tea was great. Right, so this is, I'm imagining this is going to be a bit of a contrast to the uh, carrot tea, right? Yeah, but just 
very, very light. Just try and get some of the milk. It's so it, infused with rose and raspberries. Oh, it's raspberry, is it? Okay. Meringue shards. This is like princess birthday cake vibes. Yeah, definitely. It's right? very, very pretty. Oh, yeah, really different texture. Mm -hmm. That's it's spongy. Just, yeah, it's like a sponge cake, which has been soaked in this just really fragrant light milk. If you came back tomorrow and you had to get one of these desserts, what's the, what's the oh, show the view? African powerhouse is a powerhouse. Like, it <laughs> does, does what it says on the tin. Pure chocolate decadence, and I'm all about that life. This is my favorite. Carotid cheesecake. Mm -hmm. So we've got three. Okay, because we haven't had enough, <laughs> we've yeah. also got like three little uh, sign-offs, right? So what, what, what are these rooms? Well, they have loads of chocolates and truffles that the counter to choose from, but we got three of the best sellers. This is strawberry cheesecake, just a chocolate truffle because who doesn't love chocolate who doesn't truffles? Love chocolate truffles. And this is Earl Grey. <laughs> okay, which one are you going to go for? So I'm going to go for the truffle. I'm going to go for the. This is the kind of truffle I absolutely live for. Earl Grey. It looks. Quite, doesn't it look like a galaxy? I don't know how anyone at Bricks gets any work done when they're just going to want to have their fingers like in the <laughs> in the treats all the time. Oh, smooth like a like an old jazz record, you know. That's the levels we're up to here. <laughs> that was outrageous. Ah, oh, homemade pasta and contemporary desserts. Does it get any better than that? It will take some serious beating reams, but we're going to give it our best crack in our next episode when we'll be stopping in at Creative Vegan Kitchen Little Earth and Japanese cuisine masters, we mean masters, Reef. Can't so, wait. I can't wait. <laughs> so make sure to subscribe and we'll see you next week. See ya. Bye. <laughs>